Wishing a good day to everyone. This video is about a project based on rail security. Rail transfer plays a vital role commercially. Any problem in the rail networks affects the economy at a greater pace and also leads to the loss of life. The principal problem has been the lack of cheap and efficient technology to detect the problems in rail tracks and lack of proper maintenance of rails which have resulted in the formation of tracks in the rails. This project comprises of GPS, GSM, IR transmitter receiver, and microcontroller assembly, which is cost effective and robust to facilitate better safety standards in railways. The system is designed to run along the center of the track. It uses Atmel AT89S51, which is a low power, high performance, C mode 8 bit microcontroller with 4K bytes in, in, of in system programmable flash memory. The project uses four DC motors, two for the wheels and two for the arms. They are controlled separately using relays. The LCD shows the status of the system. It shows crack detected message once the crack has been detected. GPS or GPRS RS232 modem works on frequencies 850 MHz, 900 MHz, 1800 MHz, and 1900 MHz. It is very compact in size and easy to use as a plug-in GSM modem. The modem is designed with RS232 level converter circuitry, which allows you to directly interface PC serial port. The baud rate can be configurable to 9600 through AP command. The GPS receiver calculates its position by precisely timing the signals sent by GPS satellites high above the Earth. The GPS output consists of latitude and longitude of the crack position. The IR transmitter receiver assembly is a new idea proposed by us for detecting the crack. In this project, when a crack arises, the infrared radiation from the IR emitter LED is sensed by the IR receiver diode and the analog output goes high to 5 volts. Infrared unit comprises of two sections, an infrared transmitter or emitter, which, which serves as a source of infrared radiation, and an infrared receiver to capture this emitter radiation. The infrared emitters are mainly LEDs and diodes are the common receivers. The robot will move over the rail sleeper beds laid at the center of the rail track. Robot consists of two arms-like structure on either side of the system. The two arms have an assembly unit in which each consists of two leads. One is IR transmitter. The robot will move over the rail sleeper beds laid at the center of the rail track. Robot consists of two arm-like structure on either side of the system. The two arms have an assembly unit in which each consists of two leads. One is IR transmitter and another one is IR receiver. The cracks in the rails are detected by this infrared-based system. Infrared emitter LED emits the radiation continuously while moving over the sleeper beds. If there is a crack in the railway track, the light of the LED will fall on the IR receiver diode through the gaps followed due to crack. The communication between the IR transmitter and receiver indicates the crack. The output of the infrared receiver is analog in nature. Analog to digital converter in the microcontroller converts the analog input to the digital value, which is easier to operate with the controller. For the thermal expansion, there will be small cracks in track that are made during the manufacturing process. These small cracks may also be considered as the crack during IR operation. To avoid this, the occasions of the thermal cracks are fed in the database of the network, and if the crack information matches the data, the information is ignored. Exact location of the crack in rails is located by the GPS receiver. It is a device that receives the satellite signals from the orbiting satellites of our Earth. Using the method of triangulation, it generates the output, which gives the latitude and longitudinal position of the system in Earth's surface. Once the crack was identified, the robot will be stopped so that the crack location is found accurately. The coordinates of the GPS receiver is sent to the corresponding mobile number via GSM module. The main highlight of this project is that it ensures the safety of the robot in all cases. Once the train approaches, the arm is disengaged and slips to the center of the rail and remains there until the train passes. The arm movements are controlled by motors. Once the train passes, the, ro the robot gets into the earlier position and continues the checking process. The proposed system is composed of all above mentioned components working together to achieve railway security. The various components use their of low cost and thus this method provides a cost efficient way of track detection. The, pro the programming codes for infrared based railway analysis are simple and easy to design and execute. The simplicity of the codes makes it reusable and any addition to the coding can be done without much effort. Thanks for everyone for watching this video.